day 114. It's pretty damn early, but that's because somebody decided to set up next to me and they have sleep apnea. And they've been waking my ass up over and over. I'm not sure who it is, it's not one of the guys, it's somebody new. But I have the urge to grab him by his ankles, drag him out of his fucking tent, and throw him in the lake. And I know he can hear me right now. If he's awake. I don't know, he's probably the only one getting good sleep around here. Ugh. If you know you snore, don't sleep next to people. I'm angry about this. I woke up just annoyed. Actually, I woke up thinking it was a damn bear because a dude has sleep apnea. And he's breathing all weird. You know, and I'm like, look, is there a bear? No, it turns out there's some asshole sleeping next to me. Anyway, anyway. So now I'm up super early and I'm going to be up for a while. Well, I'm, I'm up regardless. The guys don't wake up for shit another five hours. Uh, uh, look, I've got enough coffee to get me through this and I've got a lake full of water. Oh, so I guess that's what I'm doing this morning. I'll see if anything changes. There were comments about that in Gut Hooks. You'll be visited by deers looking for your pee. One was going towards count site. I'm slipping back over here. <clears throat> Who is this? This is whoever has sleep apnea. I know I kept them up all night too, but I've been up for hours, man. It's your fault. Did you find some pee? Yum, 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 yum. As soon as Count Pee, deer started coming out of nowhere. All up close to his tent, why not? So I made sure to pee on the log right there next to that guy's tent so they come in and bother him. He never bothered poking his head out, so I don't know who it was. But I am annoyed with you. I know I kept him up. I heard him tossing and turning and sighing and stuff. But if you're going to wake me up at like 2.30, expect to be awake the rest of the night too. Okay, big red lucky strike. Half probably about a mile lead on me. Count is still back there. But he's getting ready to go. Although being awoke so early did give me plenty of time to edit films. Normally editing is a really fast process. I don't actually watch the film. But I had so much time that I figured I'd watch at least good chunks of them. You know, with the volume pretty high up. Not so high up that it would bother Count, but high enough to where it would keep that dude up. I guess I'm just being a dick, hoping that, you know, he'll say something so I can say something back. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for in that. I'm just being a dick. Sure, he can't help. He has sleep apnea or whatever it is. But when you have some sort of condition like that, don't set up next to me. Right next to me. But I got all the editing I could possibly get done. Figure we'll be at the van tomorrow. So I should have plenty of battery power left. As long as I don't, as long as the day isn't too exciting, I guess. That's to be determined.
Ah, it's beautiful. I'm feeling good. The air is cool, a little crisp, but not cold. No skeeters or anything, so that's a bonus. I think we should enlighten this experience with a little safety meeting. Who agrees? Oh, most of us? Okay, that's close enough for me. And looking at the map, there is water all day. I was thinking of grabbing here, but then I was like, oh man, there's some every, you know, I don't know a couple hundred yards, it looks like. So I'm going to go to another one about two miles up or so. I still have most of a liter, and I drink like three cups of coffee before I hit it out. Even though it's a reddish tinge, it's got some clarity. I can see a few feet in, just super clear well, where the sunlight allows. Okay, according to Red, there's a two-mile climb. Well, I can see some edges way up there. Okay, uh, but at the top there is a lake. So since it's already gotten warmish, I decided to strip down. I'm just wearing a kilt and some shoes. I think I'll work up a sweat regardless. And then maybe when I get to the top, if the sun is still shining and the bugs are not flying, I might take a dip to wash off everything I sweated out on the way up here. We just passed Lumbar. Met him in the bob. Good dude. He's like 70 something still out here hiking. Good for him. According to Red, we have three huge passes today. And if we get them all done, we end up at Rainbow Mountain. Sounds like I'm playing Candyland over here. When I just at Rainbow Pass, Gumdrop Mountain. Yeah, I got some climbing to do. I'm assuming it's somewhere in here because I haven't been able to see through there yet. I'm assuming there's a much lower pass than you know that kind of crap.
made it to the top. Bit windy up here, but it feels nice. There's a lake down here. I'm gonna see how I feel about going for a dip when I get down there. Two more passes left to climb. And then tomorrow's supposed to be one tiny little pass, and then just cruisy for like 12 miles. Beautiful, but it's rocky all the way out here. You can actually see the line of rocks. I am not swimming in this. Red's not even gonna swim in this. He's like, nah, I can't get anything with my ankles wet. Screw that. Um, it's okay, it's kind of cold here anyway. Nice space to just kick back, smoke a bowl, filter some water. Happy to get away from the lake. Bit buggy. Very cold, the wind's coming right off of it. Next water's in 3-5. Um, and then the next climb starts, or that's part way up the next climb. Red says it's a 16,000 or 1,600 foot climb, but I don't know. <laughs> you never know whether to believe him or not. And I can easily push some buttons on my phone, but I'm not gonna. I only know that because he said it out loud. It's like, not like you can choose what you listen to. But I'm hoping he's lying. 1,600 feet is a lot of feet. way. Let me check the map. Hey, 50-50 chance and I chose right. That doesn't happen very often. They get happen half the time, but it doesn't. And looking at the map, I did oop, oop, oop. look at the elevation for the next couple of miles to my water source. Because just when you push on it, that happens to pop up. <coughs> And I'm going like 1,200 feet down over the next three miles. That sounds pretty steep, but at least it's down. So Red was just telling me about Burning Man. That starts in like six weeks or something. And he has to buy tickets to it. Uh, I know a bit about it, you know, I'm not that interested in it because I don't like crowds. Definitely don't like groups of people all on drugs. I like drugs. I like small groups of people. Those can mix, but huge groups and everybody all whacked out. Nah. But then he told me that the tickets he's buying are $600 a piece. Alright, I thought it was lame when I thought it was free. <laughs> but $600, god damn. Yeah, no thanks. I'm pretty sure it's exactly what I imagine it to be. A load of hippies and some rich people who think they're playing Mad Max and buy some costumes and shit. Yeah. Wear that cosplay stuff that you don't get to wear anywhere else. Except, you know, they're like, oh, it's not cosplay, it's Burning Man. No, it's just cosplay. And then you set some shit on fire at the end and leave a b bunch of litter in the desert. Am I seeing this wrong? Yeah. I just can't believe somebody would pay 600 bucks to go to it. I don't know if there's different ticket ranges, prices, you know, for better areas. I don't know how these things work. But when I thought it was free, it was a dumbass thing. Now I know it's 600 bucks plus. 
<laughs> no, thanks. I have to assume that that up there is my next climb. It doesn't look so bad. Let's see how far down I go though. I haven't descended all the way down to start climbing because they're, you know, that's how these things work. If it was just straight across, easy peasy. A little ridge walking. You'd like me some ridge walking. Depending on the day. That one that we did on the way into Lincoln after I did that 40 mile day. Had that been bad weather, it would have been a horrible experience. But in my mind, I remember it as beautiful as hell, even though it was windy. And it probably wasn't even a windy day, it was just windy up there. Not even wandering. Well, how did you get a bridge? This one's seen better days. Bridges over everything else, but not over this. Luckily, trees have fallen for us. Ooh, that one's a little risky. They can support him, they can support me. Ta da! Okay, my turn. I'm gonna do a cartwheel. I've been training for this my whole life. She never uses trekking poles. Good job! <laughs> Sign reads, cutaway pass. Thought I'd been climbing it for a while, but since I'm just seeing the sign, I guess I wasn't.
Fortunately for us, there was water halfway up this climb, so it makes it a hell of a lot easier. Count finally caught up. So poke. I'm guessing we're probably going over that. So it makes sense. I don't know what it looks like over here. This is the biggest climb of the day. There's the next one, which takes us higher in elevation, but it's not as much climbing for us because we don't go down so low before we start going up again. As far as climbs go, it hasn't been too steep yet. I mean, it's going uphill the whole way, but not too steep. We're over halfway done. Helps getting that workout yesterday, though. I definitely feel a bit stronger today. Still not overly steep. As far as climbs go, it's a quite a pleasant one. <sighs> Clouds here and there. Cool breeze. And we're almost done. All three things make it way more lovely. Okay, we've made it to the top and there's Rainbow Mountain over there. And if you look, there are rainbowy colors in it. In the hand. Sure, it's not the brightest rainbow, but still, it's got colors. A spectrum, I'd say. Sure, I'm not tasting the rainbow or anything, but, you know, at least it's aptly named. A lot of these names they just throw around, you know. There was no rainbows in Rainbow Lake. Rainbow Lake's not even attached to Rainbow Mountain, but maybe the water comes from the same place. I don't think so, because there's kind of this pass in the way. So I don't know how Rainbow Lake and Rainbow Mountain are connected. Just names. Now we do have to climb over Rainbow Mountain. That's the next thing we're climbing. Evidently it's not a pass, it's the actual mountain. But we're not going to go over the top of it. It looks like it's just scree from here. I imagine we'll skirt around to the left a bit or something. Should probably pay attention. It's kind of steep. Still seeing hikers. I think that's number 46 for this outing. Red's keeping track. Well, I'm not sure why they're trying to memorize everybody's names. 
I don't remember anybody's names. Well, a couple of people, but most not. But it does fill me with confidence. You know, I keep thinking, man, I'm moving too slow, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I'm technically ahead of all these peeps. Uh, just Not just on this part of the trail, but, you know, I also have the basin done and all of New Mexico. So, you know, southbounders can do it. I can do it. I got extra time, man. Flip flopping is really the way to go. Why didn't I do this sooner? Oh, yeah, because of logistics and it's expensive. Well, when these clouds come out, they really block the sun. I mean, it gets dark in here. The temperature changes drastic. Exactly what the doctor ordered if I'm to climb Rainbow Mountain. Okay, we gotta keep our eye out. There's a tricky turn coming up in about a mile or so. At least that's what Red's telling me. Is that a tricky turn? I don't know. Guess I'll check the map. I think it's still further up though. That wouldn't take you anywhere I'm going. I'm trying to get to that mountain. So yeah, I still got ways to go. Tricky right hand turn. Don't overshoot it, dude. We made it to the foot of Rainbow Mountain. It's not as rainbowy from down here. This is our last water until we get over to the other side. Oh, what beautiful water it is. Look at that. That's one of the best waterfalls we've seen, right? I know. Oh, what is a double waterfall? Yeah. I'm guessing avalanche. Yeah. Thanks, trail maintainers. Can't they did that one with an axe. Avalanche, huh? Oh, this whole mountainside went. Look at that. In hugs. Oh, yeah, like matchsticks, man. That's some destruction. Oh, 
that happened. I'm hiding in a bit of shade. I see some clouds coming. It looks like they're gonna block the sun soon. So I was like, why walk along this exposed ridge? If I can just wait here for a few minutes, have a little safety meeting and possibly walk in the shadow of a cloud. Nice big shadow. Well, I hope it lasts all the way up, we'll see. Regardless, I'm enjoying it now. Another view of that avalanche in the house. Ooh, I'm way up here, aren't I? Oh, now I got all sketchy once I realized where I was standing. But, I mean, look. Whew. Made my heart flutter. <sighs> It's because I don't have my poles on the ground. I felt confident when I had four legs. Only a half mile from the top. I'm running out of cloud. But hey, it got me this far. I feel like I'm close. Looks like it levels out up there a bit. Okay, I was wrong before. But this time I'm pretty sure it's gonna level out up here. He stopped. That is a very good sign. Rainbow Mountain, elevation 10,250 it looks like. It's cool how it eroded. Uh, I don't know where I came through in all this, but this is where we came from today. Actually, I think I was up over in there. I don't know, but this is where we're going.
Oh, I see the rest of the crew. We're taking a break. Good. <laughs> okay, yeah, fuck that. They're taking a break, and I can tell by the, the stuff they're wearing. Yeah, I was like, oh, mosquitoes? <laughs> they're like, yep. And as I got closer, I could see that they were quite literally covered. Oh, that's sketchy. Don't slip and fall. So I decided not to take a break. I, I wanted one, but not at that cost. While you're moving, you don't even see them, don't notice them. But if that's what the pass looks like, uh, what's the, the campsite near the lake going to look like? Looks like I'm going to be wearing plastic tonight. I should probably stop somewhere soon. Oh, I'm going to always switch back. Zing, 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 zing. And put on some pants and stuff. Just because I know what's coming. What, there's snow down there? All the way down there? No way! Oh, those trees do all look all jacked up down there. Maybe there was an avalanche as well, and that was just a huge pile. Huh. They have started their descent. I can't remember what Count calls these, but he points these out every once in a while. Something that the East Coast people go crazy for. They turn orange at some specific time of the year. Doesn't seem all that exciting to me, but hey, I'll have to see it before I knock it.
<laughs> You're still heading down. It's getting dark. It's only like five o'clock. Sun's just hiding behind some clouds. And I'm in a forest. And my glasses haven't adjusted yet back to clear, so I've got tint going on. Always makes me think it's later than it is. And then finally my glasses go clear, the cloud moves from in front of the sun, and I realize, oh no, no, it's still early in the day. But we have no reason to make big miles tomorrow, because to make it to the van we would have had to do 30 plus today. Why? So, you know, we do a 20-ish today and a 10-ish tomorrow. Make our way into a town, get some lunch. Heard rumor there might be a hot spring in our future. Not the cool kind that I like where it's a hole in the ground. It's a pace place you pay. And they might have hot tubs that are from a hot spring, but that's not the same to me. But I'll take it. Especially if it's only 10 bucks. I can use a bath anyway. Whether I need it or not. Looks like they started a bunch of these with an axe. And then ended up with a cross cut saw. They were going to cut through this thing with an axe. What's that noise? No idea. That one I uprooted the proper fashion. If you're gonna fall, fall away from the trail. We appreciate it. Yeah, there's a bit of marsh around here. I see why there'd be some skeeters. They haven't been attacking me yet. But, you know. Let's see what happens when the sun starts going down or I get in the deep shadows. I'm really close to camp. There's a lake right around, oh, lake right there. I gotta gather some water from. It says there's tiny little red crustaceans in it. I'm curious to see. Now I could have got flowing water back there, but yeah, this is closer. Well, I am a water snob and I want the best I can get. I'm also lazy. And I was curious about the crustaceans. So I want an excuse to come down looking. Oh, that's totally clear water. It's beautiful. And it came flowing down from somewhere, you know. Water was, all water was flowing at some time. I hope that's not where I'm supposed to go down and get it. Better check the map. Yep, evidently that was where I was supposed to go collect it. Where was that? All right, nice steep down. I was over on that far side about to go down that incline, steep incline to get water. And who was standing on the shore over here? Lucky Strike. So I was like, oh, screw that, I don't need to grab that water. I'll come down here and grab it. I see no crustaceans. I see ducks by the size. I'm going with baby ducks and hunts. Nice. I'm sitting up right here in the middle of everybody. This is the bestest, flattest spot there is. I checked up there behind the log. It looked pretty good, but that would fit count better than me. He has a two man. This is me. They don't quite show up from here, but the water is covered in bugs. Well, hey, maybe they show up over there. Okay, there we go. Where the sunlight's hitting it. There's just too much sunlight here to see it, but from over here where we're sitting, you can just see them all in it, but they're not bothering us. We get a random mosquiter here and there, and it comes over. Maybe these aren't skeeters above the water. They sure look like it, though. So then you do seven miles cool. Do your thing out there, man. Leave us alone. I left my, my vestibule off so I didn't get all the bugs under it this time. I'm going to do that last minute. Oh, I need a haircut. My hair is as white as my shoulders. Like I have a mushroom on my head. Not good, man. I'm cutting this off myself if I can't find a barber soon.